for this third grade small group, the two big deal things to focus on are skip counting by fives using pentagons to 150 and completing rounding fun where students will round to the nearest 10. For skip counting by fives to 150, um, one thing I want to make sure um, students know is what the word is that we're counting by. We're counting by pentagons. And so talking through what is a pentagon, have a visual display for them, write it on a sheet, whiteboard, whatever, um, and talk through a pentagon. Penta means five. What does penta mean? It means five. Why is this shape called a pentagon? What does it have five of? And what we want students to realize is that it has five sides and it has five angles. What does it have? Five sides, five angles. So really that repetition is big um, before you ever even start counting by pentagons. After that, what you'll do is you will give students um, each a little uh, pile of pentagons and you're going to go around the table and count by fives and you put a pentagon in the middle every time. So if I go first, five, next person pushes the pentagon in, 10, 15, 20, 25, and keep going around the circle with each person contributing their pentagon. Now, the reason that I want them to go farther than just 100 is because they don't get many tries at that. And the more they hear it, say it, um, interact with it, the better they'll get. So we're at 105. 110, 115, 120, 125. Just getting that repetition is huge. Also, this is very nuanced, but try not to have them say 105, 110, 115, because that's not, when they get into decimals, that'll be detrimental. So just having them say 105, 110, 115. If they're just struggling enough with saying the words, don't worry about correcting that and piece, but especially for our higher kids, that'll be that'll be good practice for them. After you've made it to 150, um, go ahead and move on to rounding fun. For rounding fun, I would do the first couple together and good then we could set. This is Ms. Weber. Is there is someone that so the first few of these you'll do together as a group, and then after that, students can get dice and roll on their own. Um, but basically, we're rounding to the nearest 10. So I would roll and record. I recorded, or I rolled 94. So I need to record my 94. And then I need to round to the nearest 10. The practice we've done as a class so far is asking ourselves, is it closer to 90 or closer to 100? So what are those two tens that it's between? And if they're still struggling, making it visual is powerful. So if this is 90 and this is 100, 95 is right in the middle. Where is 94 going to fall? It falls before 95. So what is it closer to? It's closer to 90. Roll again. Okay. Ooh, I just rolled a zero tens and three ones. So I rolled the number three. That one is tricky. Where does three fall? It falls between zero and 10. Where does it fall on the number line? This is my halfway point. That's my five. Where's the three? Probably about there, closer to the zero. Next one, 44. What are the tens that this number is between? It's between 40 and 50. Where's the five? Here it is. And so where's 44 fall? Okay, it's closer to 40. That's a lot. Um, so go slow with that and you can continue this on another day if you don't get very far. Depending on the level of students in your group, your higher kids might be able to just go. They might be able to see it without drawing any sort of a number line. Your lowest students, you're probably gonna need to guide them through what two numbers is it between. And another thing that might be helpful is having a hundreds chart. And on that hundreds chart, let's say that I did roll that 44. Okay, where is 44 on the chart? Okay, what two benchmark numbers is it between? Well, if I go back to this 10, it's near a 40. Or if I go forward, it's a 50. That's where it lives. Okay, 5 is kind of right in the middle. Does it? So that piece of just which two tens does it fall between? 44, if I go backward, it falls between 40. If I go forward, it falls between 50. Um, but yeah, just go slow with this. 
I want them to understand it more than get a lot completed at one time. And you can continue this another day. That's it.